Brett is an investment holding company with stakes in Steinhoff, Premier Foods, New Look, Virgin Active and Iceland. Exactly. Those are all the new holdings as well, so that's good. Uh, very interesting company in the news or not. Uh, John Nodder, the CEO, has been doing deals every other day, raising money. Exciting. Market cap flying higher, share chart looking good. That market cap, 68.2 billion rand, P.E. ratio of 2.9, dividend yield of 0.58%. So, mm. unpack the recent noise around Bright. So in recent years, this company has totally transformed itself. It used to be a private equity asset manager. They basically repositioned themselves, raised some funds. Remember, they've got Christo Visa behind them as their kind of uh, capital backer through Titan Investments. And they sold their core asset, which was Pepcor, to Steinhoff. So they got all those Steinhoff shares. And then without taking a second breath, did two huge deals. The one being New Look, which is like a Mr. Price of Europe. And the other being Virgin Active. Virgin Active, which was ready to come back to the market. And there you go. Look at that share price move. So the big question is what they will do with uh, the Steinhoff yes. shares that they own. And Have the feeling that? is that they're likely to offload that because it's not really their game holding big stakes in listed entities. And once Steinhoff is on the market in Europe, there'll be plenty of people wanting to buy those. Steinhoff, of course, has risen now to 82 rands a share. So as that has happened, that has been a brilliant value underpin for Brett along the way. They've also got Premier Foods yes. in the stable. And yes. uh, having chatted to John Nodder in Captains of Industry relatively recently, that distribution network that comes with Premier Foods is mm. a huge opportunity for the group going forward. Yeah, and of course, because Premier isn't listed, you don't really get a sense of how strong they are. But we know how well Pioneer is doing and generally in time how Tiger has done. So that's a good industry to be in. New Look, worth mentioning though, New Look is, as I said earlier, a little similar to Mr. Price, but in the UK market has really formed a very dominant position in that kind of fast retail, stylish apparel of relatively inexpensive items. And I saw some stat that said something like over 40% of British uh, women have shopped at New Look within the last year, you know, and they're like 60 billion wealthy Brits. So that's got to be a good business. I mean, a, another interesting point on the Virgin Active side mm. is not only the targeting of the upper LSM with the current offering, yep. but that they are going to drill into a lower LSM offering with Virgin, I think it's Virgin Red or, okay. or something along those lines. In a, a, the areas where that's a more appropriate product. Absolutely. And something else I didn't realize until one of my colleagues pointed out is that the personal trainers actually pay quite a sum of money per month to the gym in order to operate out of it's those business premises. It's a rental that they pay to, yeah. to the gym. So in the high-end gyms, that's a big revenue kicker. And I understand that Virgin Active has really, in recent years, jacked up its subscription model and they've got all these tie-ups with the medical aids and, and so on, so doing particularly well. discount if you threw Discovery. Right, so the other thing, you need to talk about what happened this last, last week. Last week, yes. okay, so that is interesting. So Brett's doing a lot of new deals and it needs money, right, to raise in order to finance them. And so what it did with its share price high was do a raise in Europe of a convertible bond, which is kind of like an instrument which can be converted to sh ordinary shares at the election of the company. So a little bit complicated, but you know, my message to people who own the ordinary shares is it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they raised, you know, quite a substantial sum of uh, hard currency in order to finance their deals offshore. They were well received in capital markets. And those sort of games that people play with the ordinary shares and the convertibles, you can actually just ignore it. It's just like raising more money. And at the end of the day, it's actually good for everyone if the company is able to raise money at a very low rate in the current uh, equity markets. Hot or not too great? Look, I think it is getting quite toasty. At 140 rands a share, it's really pricing in a lot of future action. We've but got a holding in this one, so I'm going to push you at the end of the show I'm when it comes to investment hot on it. of the day. I think uh, John Nodder and his colleagues have done a superb job. I think Christo Visa in the background is a great partner to have, and I think they're primed for the big time.